welcome to Two Mums and a Camera. So today we're going to be talking about our favorite fall things and what we love most about fall and what we do to get ready for fall. So um, I do a few things and I'm actually quite excited because it's the season where we get to curl up with a good book or a nice glass of hot cocoa or a nice cup of tea, read a good book, magazine, put our feet up and no excuses, we can just be home and enjoy our families and I think that's wonderful. I love fires and cozy sweaters and this time of year, all of my summer clothes go downstairs in storage so that I have room for my nice, big, chunky fall items. And that's me saying goodbye to summer and welcoming fall and winter. And um, I love seasons, so I'm a big seasons girl. So I do quite a few things to get ready for fall. So this is my bedroom, this is my bed, and first thing I do is get rid of my linens for the summertime, and I put some nice, cozy, um, blankets on my bed. I love layering and I love having just a nice cozy blanket that I don't need to mess with my bed but I can crawl in bed and just cozy up with a nice blanket if I just want to read my book and relax for a little while. I swap out all of my pillows as well. So, well not all, I actually have two um, summer pillows that I keep year round but I love adding like nice furry cozy pillows that just say fall and it's just something that I love to do and I enjoy doing. Um, as you can see here, I'm getting ready because fall is actually my anniversary. So yay, hubby, 27 years, congratulations, we did it. Um, every fall, he and I go away for the, for the weekend and we really enjoy it. So I'm getting ready, that's why my room's a bit of a mess right now. Um, little things that I like to do, like accessories. So for my purses, I like putting, like this year, the nice furry pom-poms are in and it just says fall and cozy and warm to me. So you can just take a regular purse and just make it fall like by doing something like that. Um, I also love to add things. So. This dresser, I just added a, a little runner. It actually, it really needs updating. I can't wait to take on that project. I'm gonna take off all of these and, and do new handles and maybe paint it. But um, just a little runner just adds warmth. Whatever you do in your, your rooms to get ready, it just have it be comfortable and warm and that says fall. So fall starts from outside. So from the time you enter my home, you see some nice mums in pots. I think they're colorful. I think nothing says fall like mums. I love them and I love this particular pot because it's all multi-colored and I, I just it's fun and exciting to me. So I have little pots of mums pretty much everywhere. Um, and then as you go up here I have a nice so what I did was I took my summer set which usually has like a, a patio lantern and you know this fun summer items on it and I changed it to fall so I put a little few um, girds and pumpkins and just made it a little more fall like. I've switched out my table from summer and usually I have fresh flowers in the summer. That's all I have and I love that. Switch that out for fall. So as soon as you enter, we're doing fall in this house. My dining room also has little bits of fall. So I have just put in a nice runner and I've just added some um, dried leaves and some girds. And I actually, these are something that I picked up. Um, quite cheap, but they're nice and, you know me, I love sparkle. So I've added a little bit of sparkle to my regular decorations and it's just plumped up my dining room. I just feel like it's added um, a visual experience that really gets you ready for fall. So even my kitchen sideboard, um, I've just switched it up. So I've just added um, some pumpkins and a nice pear. And I just love, I've fallen in love with this pumpkin because it gives me a little bit of glitz and glam, but not overkill with all the rest of the decorations. So even my um, backyard, we've just added a pot of mums. Um, and these two chairs will stay out until the first frost so that we can still enjoy, enjoy the outdoors, but it still says a little bit of fall. And often we'll take a cup of tea or a cup of coffee out here, my husband and I, and we'll just enjoy the outdoors and the nice fall weather. So thank you for watching. I hope that you see how different my sister and I are. Everybody has their different, different ways of embracing fall. Um, she has hers and I have mine, quite different. And um, I just really hope you enjoyed this video and happy fall. So Nikki had this great idea to uh, film 
preparing our home for fall. I think she's nuts because I really don't prepare my home for fall, but she does. So for all of you who change your decor with the seasons or who have fall soaps in your bathroom, you know, this is your video, not for me. But anyway, I put on an orange shirt. Nikki will be very happy, so I'm preparing myself for fall. I am watching Blue Jays baseball right now and they're winning. They're currently beating Texas five to nothing. I'm really, really, really happy about that. And a shout out to my wonderful son, Luke, who got this on for me. So if Luke, if you'll follow me, I'm gonna show you about the only thing I do to prepare for fall. I have an orange tablecloth. However, I always have this tablecloth on. So it's really not fall, it just happens to go with the fall. So this is my fall box. This is it, folks. Not very exciting. So follow me as I take out the uh, skull. I don't think it has batteries, but it lights up, it's kind of spooky. And then I have my lovely witch. I actually like this witch. And uh, I'm gonna hang her outside. And then I have uh, a scarecrow and my little welcome sign. So this is about all I do for fall. So I actually buy a pumpkin, but not yet. But if you follow me, come with me. You're gonna see me actually put this on the door. Let's go, folks. This is an action shot. Okay. Ta-da! I've decorated for fall. Nikki, are you happy now? Thanks for watching.